Hello everyone and welcome to another simulation tutorial in SOLIDWORKS. Today we are going to be looking at this uh, welded connection and the goal is to find uh, the minimum weld size in order for this connection not to fail. There is a force acting at this hole right here which is 8 inches from the center and the magnitude is uh, 12,500 pound force. We are given the uh, diameter of the tube, and this will be used to place the, the weld along that circular shape. And the uh, weld strength that we are using is um, 20,000 PSI. So I have already created the tube and the bracket, so we need to uh, prepare the model and let's create a quick assembly before the simulation. So let's create a new new assembly. Before I begin, I'm going to select the correct units. I'm just going to double check the um, drafting standards is set to ANSYS and IPS for inch pound second units for this problem. Uh, now I'm ready to uh, insert components and I'm gonna first I'm going to select the tube click open without selecting uh, clicking anywhere else let's click on the check mark here and this component is fixed as you can see here with the F letter in parentheses that means it is fixed so if you want to drag it hold it and drag it it's not going to let you because it's fixed. Uh, the next component is going to be the bracket. The brackets. Uh, now let's apply some uh, some mates and relationships. So the first one is going to be a selecting both uh, with a control key. I'm going to make these two concentric. It's not the bracket can move on the X direction so I'm going to place another mate around that location so with the control key selecting the this face and um, actually let's try another way let's use the the planes of the components so I'm going to select the right plane of the tube and the right plane of the um, of the bracket. So with that, I can um, apply a distance, and I would like two inches um, separated from the center. So hit OK. Now let's constrain the bracket along the Z axis. So for that, we are going to um, similar steps. So let's select the front plane and the front plane of the bracket and make that coincident. So now we have a fully constrained assembly. So now if you notice the bracket, it is a surface um, model. And this is because in order to do the welding simulation in SOLIDWORKS, we need to have one of the components um, created as a surface. So you, you'll see what I mean when we get into the simulation. Okay, so after we assemble the components, let's go to simulation. If you don't have the simulation tab, you can always click on tabs and select simulation. New study. We're going to rename this as um, welded connection study and let's hit OK. Let's apply a, um, a material to this assembly. So alloy steel, let's click on apply and close. So all components here are made of uh, alloy steel. So now let's expand 
the port three. So in here, under bracket, we're going to give it a thickness. If you notice, there is, this uh, bracket doesn't have any thickness. So let's right click on the bracket and click on edit definition. And right here is where we are giving a thickness to this component. And um, we can have half an inch. And um, if you notice, you can see a uh, thickness provided to that bracket. The, uh, the offset option is, this depends on your requirements. So if you click on this box right here, you can kind of you can kind of see where the thickness is going. For this case, I'm going to select the uh, middle surface, so that thickness is going to be divided on both directions. Let's hit OK. The um, next we can apply a um, let's let's fix this uh, assembly and. And if we look at the problem, it's going to be fixed at this end right here. So that's the end that we're going to be selecting. So let's select that and let's hit OK. We can, uh, we can delete this uh, component interaction. So we're going to be um, joining these two components with uh, welding. All right, so the next thing we can do is let's apply a force. So going back to the problem, so the force is acting on the Z direction at this hole right here and it's 12,500 pound, pound force. So if you zoom in, like if you really zoom in, there is a hole here. So we're going to apply that force right there to this location. And the let's change the units and um, let's give it the correct direction to that force. For that, let's uh, click on this, select the direction. So let me zoom out so you can see better. And the um, so we need a reference plane for that. So we're going to select a um, the front plane as a reference you can see here and the uh, the magnitude let's change the units first and the magnitude is going to be 12,500 the force will be acting normal to that plane that we just selected as a reference so we can put here 12,500 hit enter and um, you see the the force is is on the z direction for calculation purposes the direction either left or right it doesn't matter um, we're going to get the same values but just to follow the same idea of the problem we're just gonna reverse so it can go now to the other side and uh, very important make sure you have the right units when putting the the forces so hit okay now we are ready to um to look at the at the at the welding so let's add a uh, an, an edge weld so right click on connection and select the edge weld so the edge weld connector is going to um, estimate the appropriate size of a well uh, required to attach these two components with the given force. Okay, so now we are we are here in the property manager, and the um, so there are a few options here that we need to uh, take a look. So if you um, click on here, so the double-sided fillet is going to um, give us a well. A well seam on the on both sides of the bracket. If you uh, want the single side, it's gonna give us only on one side, depending on the side that you select. So for this problem, we're going to select double sided because we want a um, a a well 
see him on on this side and also on this side right here okay so the first uh phase set number one we're going to select the surface this is going to be the surface the second phase is going to be the the other component phase and the third box is going to be um for the um for the intersecting uh, fade edges so we're going to select that after we have those selected we can scroll down and there are two uh, standards for this welding the american and european you can select the ones as you uh, as you prefer by default there is a safety factor of um, three if you select the American standard and a safety factor of five if you select the European. So for this problem, um, right here you have a few options for the electro type, material type. This is for the weld type. If your material is not here, you can always select custom steel and um, select the right unit. And um, if you look at the problem, they are giving us a well strength of 20,000 PSI. So we can change that to 20,000 PSI. And the, um, so for the safety factor, um, you can put here any required safety factor for your um, connection. I'm just gonna put one and the um, the estimated weld size this is optional um, this is uh, what you are estimating to be the weld size the weld size and at the end the calculated weld size is going to be compared to this estimated value so this is optional uh, for this problem we're going to estimate a weld size of a quarter of an inch okay so it looks like this this is all we need for the well connector property manager so let's hit okay so you can kind of see the the well on on both sides for the model um so after we have created that we can we can create the mesh you can refine as you wish and let's hit okay the model looks like it's ready to be um, simulated so we're going to click run this study And I'll be back when this is done. The simulation has been completed. And before we get into the um, estimated well size, I always like to see the um, animate the, the simulation to see if, uh, if the animation makes sense. And looking at this, it does because we apply a force at this location on the this is the z direction pointing to the right so this is how the the model will behave in real life um, so now in order to, um, to see the well result let's right click and let's hit on a define well check plot and we can include a, a uh, a title title here we can say it uh well analysis and we can even associate a uh, a view orientation for this uh let's select the top and hit okay now we get this uh this plot and connectors with calculated well sizes is smaller than what we define at the beginning if you recall it was one quarter 
So anything in smaller than that uh, will be listed as OK on, on this section here. And anything larger uh, than what we defined before is going to appear here under the uh, needs attention. So for our problem, uh, we have uh, the connector under the needs attention. And that's because the estimated value of one quarter, what we anticipated at the beginning is less than the actual calculated well size. So we need a so we need 0 0.64 uh, looking at the um, at the simulation and we have 0 0.25. So we need to consider and increase the estimated well size. So if we go back to the simulation and make this 0 0.63 for example, then this well connector will appear under the okay section so in addition to that we can go to details here and from here we can get a more comprehensive uh, values for the, for example we we get the well size the minimum and maximum values we get the throat size the normal force um, shear force on the x on the axis and and normal force um, if you want to export these values you can click on save and it'll export as an Excel file. We can even see the um, a plot here. So let's click on that plot. And um, and from here, we, we are getting the well size along the well seam. So if you notice the peak is about, uh, first let me change the units here so we can get the right table units so let's click one more time on that table so if you notice here the peak value is about 0.63 and this is the value that we need to uh, size the well because typically you don't you don't size different well uh, sizes along the the seams so typically you select the maximum uh, number for the application and uh, and this concludes this tutorial I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching